You're watching WB on XTV. And each and every weekend, they have back our foot on this trip. Now, you know, as Belizean, we concern about for we youths to fight each and every week. I just want to hear the people in two cents on this. I just want to know if the uh, fight that they have out here uh, on a constant basis every week if you affect your business. All right. That's the question right there. Why are you two cents on it? All right. What are you so, Well, to be honest with you, so far, I don't have no problem with it, yeah. and it don't affect me as yet. I have to say yet because you never know where I happen down the street. Yes. If it continues start to happen on a daily or weekly basis, yes. right? So so far, I don't have no problem, but I would have really like to see it really stop and slow down because people come out for have fun. Yeah. Then we park. You have. People will come with their families, we just come for just sit down and enjoy our family moment. Yes. We work hard. And then when they hear all of these stuff, you know, they now really want to come out. Mm -hmm. You know, they have become scared. Mm -hmm. And then we have become we have become stifled in yes. our own country and in our own home. And we don't want that. Mm -hmm. So we try to advise the younger people or whosoever come out, come out and have fun, clean yeah. fun. You understand? That's your two cents. That's that my two cents. Feel about it. Just tell me how you feel about the dispute that will happen out there on this trip each and every week. What are your two cents on it? Well, people just need to plan for a reason with each other and have an understanding. Mm -hmm. And like try to work out things the best way they could instead of the fight up and the fight up because that doesn't make no sense. Yeah. Yeah, that's just my yeah, two cents or how I would have said it. <laughs> I just find that ridiculous because, yo. I don't know where they were sitting, the contour, and I don't know where the world the contour, but I find that really, really close. We need to try to find a lot of love, because too much funeral needs some wedding men. Yeah. There's been a lot of fights out here with young people during the week on the trip. You as a elder person, how you feel about that? Hmm. What are your things about that? Brother, with my thin sense, uh, no direction, no leaders, you know, parenting, Gone. You know, I was school, I had my parents give thanks to the Lord, no discipline. Like my brother, she said, man, I must have to turn to discipline. People, you can't tell the young people nothing easy. You know, you know what I learned, you know? They ran, as a matter of fact, walking here, they got the lane on the phone. After telling them, I'm fine, God. So when you tell them that they wrong, I want the worst thing. That's a my attention. Tell me how you feel about um, the fights that have been going on back and forth on this trip as a business person in the park? Does it affect you or it don't affect you? And how, what are your two cents on it? Well, I open mostly that day, but I do open on Saturday night, so I'll fight in any kind of um, feud lead to worse thing. You know, you know, especially I believe things continue and spill over to the, till something really you know, inevitable happens. So, it's always bad for people, bad for business, because the people make the business. People and they hurt up themselves, people can't come support the business, my lad. So, whatever one could do for resolve one of the issues then without confrontation or without kind of any kind of whatever, it's better for everybody. I always remember that, because you have family, you know why your family then get hurt. When I start a problem, you, know, you want to get hurt, I always remember that. Any kind of war start, the two sides feel. So I always think about the next people and the vulnerable people in our life who don't want to get hurt before we continue with the madness they want to pick up. Simple as that. That's your two cents. That's my two cents.